Hi, I'm Abby, and I'm um, at it again, making another video. If I don't make these videos, I won't feel right, so I have to keep sharing and sharing everything so that I can I can go about my day again and feel like a normal person. So I have already created a video that I am unable to share, and I and I think it's related to the subject matter of it. And um, I'm still unsure what I will do with that video. I'm sure I'm unsure too of what I will share in this video because I still have a need to share what it what it was that I was originally wanting to talk about, which had to do with time and time in ways that we don't comprehend time as human beings. We comprehend time as what we see. So we see a sun rise and a sunset, and we see a moon rise and a moon set. We see people who age over time. And that, that is why we think that, that is why we perceive that time is real. Because how is it, how is it, that, is, how is it that days exist? How is it that you age? If time doesn't exist, then how, would, how is it that you would ever age? And what you don't understand is that what there are so many reflections to an ultimate creation. There are so many reflections, and we are connected to a vein of of one of one reflection of an infinite universe, one vein of an inf, of an infinite universe. And part of that vein is the programming, is the DNA, is the is the the balance that um, that chooses to create awareness in a lifetime, awareness of what what age is, what age is itself. It is sort of like plugging yourself into a program and this program chooses to um, help you comprehend an infinite universe through the experience of age. It isn't time. It is not time. It has never been time itself. There is no time in an infinite universe. There is only the infinite reflections there are only the infinite um, experiences and the infinite awareness. And what you don't realize is that all human beings, while we are individuals, we aren't individuals at all. We are all connected as one. One. That is also part of the illusion. If you had one infinite creation and that infinite creation broke like a mirror, you just put a hammer to it and it splattered into all these cracks now all of a sudden the infinite creations can start to comprehend itself through the individual pieces that it is through all the tiniest little sparks that it is and that is what a soul is all souls are part of a whole of a giant and enormous mirror and that is what time is too it is not it is not our idea of what time is it is different the real existence of time is literally just is just the essence of awareness itself. And I talked about that in several videos before I made this video, which um, I have been listening to and then listening to again and hearing myself and learning from myself and trying to understand why I choose the words I choose, why I choose um, to share what I choose to share and what it is that I didn't see before. You don't realize, you don't realize how we, what I, when I make these videos, I feel entirely myself on the ones that I'm not channeling the wisdom. But right now, I don't feel as though I am in a channeled state of being, but there are eagles in the universe that I, that are helping me flow through my videos without me entirely being aware of it because we are all connected as one and the uh, and the equals I choose to connect with are the ones that um, fly at the highest frequency I don't connect with moles that that dig in the ground that can only understand one part of, of um, the wisdom of all I choose to connect with eagles that can see so much more from overhead than you could see from standing on the ground. So the wisdom I share with you is wisdom that comes from way up on overhead. And the choices that I make and the words that I use and the way that I share um, is also 
sometimes out of mind and body, it is um, flowing through a channel that is connected with a, a, a high frequency wisdom. The previous video I made was um, was not vibrating high enough, and that is why I questioned whether I would use it or not, because it was still in, instilling feelings that I have had the last couple days that haven't been at the highest frequency of awareness. And, um, and now I'm going to try again, it seems, to make a video about time to talk about what time is because that is important to me that is important that is part of existence that is part of wisdom that is part of perception that is part of comprehending an infinite universe beyond the human senses how do I have this awareness how do I understand these things I have to go outside of my human senses to have this awareness I have to connect with my ancient soul to have this awareness of what is real I don't live here so I can live like everybody else. I live here so I can comprehend the infinite universe. I am not the one that sits here and watches the magician do the tricks. I am the one that comprehends the illusion of how the tricks are, are created. I look for them. I look for the tricks in everything that I do. And I see on this world all of the illusions that exist here that everybody else is just watching like a, like a show or a program. But I step outside of it and I am aware that it isn't real. And what is real is, is nature. What is real are the stars in the sky. To me, those are the real things. Those are, those are the, the one mirror that chose to break itself and to, and to disperse itself across. What it created was the illusion of time and distance so it could comprehend itself. No idea how humongous to our human perception that mirror is, when actually it is just one mirror, that is all it ever was, it was just one mirror without any cracks in it at all. That is it. That is existence itself. It is one perfect and pristine mirror. But then to, to comprehend the, um, the, in, the sensation of what is an individual, the sensation of what is a, a soul, a unique and separate soul. Now you break the pristine mirror to create all of the infinite, all the individual parts of a whole spark. So you can see, so the whole spark can, can be part of all of the, all of these. Um, I, it's sort of, you know, the Matrix really got it right. But um, I don't choose to... Um, I don't want to make this into a fantasy or fiction uh, conversation or one that you could just pull out an idea and say, you know, well, that sounds an awful lot like the Matrix to me. And this is not awareness that comes to me from the Matrix. This is awareness that comes to me from being in alignment with a high frequency vibration of wisdom. This isn't the Matrix. This is actually a reality. This is actually a real world that we live in that is also an illusionary world. And I've created um, videos about time and how time is an illusion and I've created videos about reincarnation and um, because I love, I love, I have been an explorer of myself because I want, I am the pristine mirror. I am the pristine mirror that chooses to comprehend itself. I choose to comprehend myself every single day. I try and explore myself in new ways. Every human being should be doing this. Every human being should be choosing to comprehend what is their pristine mirror, what is their infinite reflection. Who and what are you? Who and what are you? You are not this. You are not skin or eyes or mouth. You are not hair. You are not that. That is an identity that exists on this planet. That is not the, the mirror that you are. That is not your totality. That is not your infinite totality. And your infinite totality lives in, in an eternity, in an existence where, time, where there is no sensation of time. And it is in a constant cycle of awareness of all of the lifetimes and all of the experiences that it has endured. That is what you are. You are a profound... Let me get my finger right here. It is important that I tell you that you are not just a human being in that body. You are a profound soul 
in an infinite universe. Who and what are you? Who are you? Have you ever asked yourself, what is my soul? What is my soul seeing that I can't remember in here? Have you ever asked yourself that? Have you ever asked yourself, what, what did I do in the lifetime before or this lifetime? Have you even tried to explore what reincarnation is? Once you stop seeing the world as a sun and a moon and an age line, as a, as a linear, as a line that just goes like that and you are born and you die, when you stop seeing the world in that way, you'll start seeing that, that there never was a straight line. It always was a circular, um, an infinite uh, existence that is constantly trying to comprehend itself and expand in wisdom and awareness. The universe is, not, is growing. It is not shrinking down into nothingness. It is expansion. Expansion. And uh, I don't, so, expansion takes place through the expression of love. Love is expanding the infinite, the almighty mirror. Love expands the almighty mirror. Hatred is self-awareness. Hatred is what creates self-awareness and a choice to go back to love, which is the almighty mirror. This isn't, this is, um, this is what I am trying to share with you today. Self-awareness. I have had self-awareness this week, and it was very hard to digest. My self-awareness comes from the realization of how I exist in an infinite universe. It doesn't come from, ah, uh, shoot, you know, I, um, I forgot to do this today. That is, that is life. That is part of living on this planet. That isn't self-awareness. That's not profound. It isn't, um, oh, you know, hooray, I... I some, I, I won $500 today. What am I going to do with it? That is not self-awareness. That is just living your life. It isn't, oh crap, i got to go to the grocery store. Um, should I do it today? I don't really feel like doing it today. That is just living your life. That's not self-awareness. How often do you sit down and try to comprehend who and what you are and why you are what you are? Why have you made the choices you've made in your life? Who are the people that really mean something to you and why? Who are the people that hurt your feelings and why are you still continuing to reach your hand out to them? What is the relationship between those two souls? Your soul and the soul of somebody else. Why is your soul so attracted and drawn to continue to love a soul that does not love you in the same way? These are. This is self-awareness. This is comprehending the self, comprehending the soul, comprehending the relationships that we have. And... Um, My self-awareness today, or not today, but this week, was very difficult for me because it came um, in the form of a, of a very unexpected realization about time. And um, I started to see everything and how, and how time cycles. And, it, and so here I am using the words time when time doesn't even exist. What is the correct words? What, how do you describe it? How do I describe this profound realization without, with using the correct words? They, do, they don't exist. The correct words do not exist. <sighs> so I will de describe it to you. I saw what is the infinite um, spiral. When a soul chooses to become a part of the physical incarnation cycle, it steps into what is a tornado of um, circular, uh, it is, a, it is, a, that is what, this, that is, the spiral, like a tornado, is uh, literally the shape that, um, that you step into to explore an awareness in the infinite mirror, and in in, it is only an awareness, it is always just awareness, and once you step in, you never step out. And you continue to cycle through all the awarenesses that your soul is, um, is in a continuum now of, of learning. Once it steps into the spiral, it, it is in a continuum of learning for infinity, forever. And it will continue to go down, and then there's an opposing coil that it, it sort of goes back up again, and it continues to circulate through and try to rediscover itself over and over and over again, even by re 
be re-entering the awareness of a previous lifetime or a future lifetime because none of them actually exist. There is no past life or future life. There's only awareness of all, of all. That is it. Awareness of all. But somehow it exists on a spiral and the spiral circulates. It is just like the black hole. In a black hole there is no sound. In a black hole there, there is no sound at all. It is creepy. I entered a black hole because I was um, feeling very destructive energy because we all do that when we feel like we are experiencing something that we have no control over and we don't know what to do. We start to get angry and frustrated and we don't know where to put the energy. So it just sort of it lingers inside of us and it, it hurts our bodies in ways we don't realize. Then it gets into the it it is in our it is the energy that starts to fill our rooms. We don't even realize this is happening. It even is um, in connection with other beings that we are thinking about, other people that we that we are trying to understand. Why did this interaction take place? And it is making me so angry. So when you start thinking, you're making a actual connection, and you are filling that being with your energy too of of anger. And whenever that, whenever I, I, that is human, that is totally human to do this. This is so human and not even to have a clue how bad you are, do, what, what you are actually doing. It is completely, you have no idea what you are doing. And, um, but I know what I'm, well, I know what this is. I know this is very typical for being human and to do this. So uh, because I have an awareness, I need to know what to do with the energy because I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want it in my apartment. I don't want the energy living here. I don't want the energy making connections with beings that thrive off of that energy, which you don't realize that there are actual living beings, alien beings, that are energy, that are actually as thin as air, and feed off of energy itself. They thrive off of certain flavors of energy. Well, I, I enter then the black hole so it can... Um, it can consume all of that um, without me hurting anything. I don't see what I mean. You see about what I'm aware of. And now what do I do with that? I don't live on a planet where I'm supposed to be aware of this stuff. So I explore the black hole because it is the only place I can think of that is like an ultimate vacuum. Black holes are good things. People are people think black holes are really um, scary and don't know much about them, and they aren't that complicated. <laughs> they aren't that complicated. <laughs> they literally are a vacuum for space. Space needs vacuums so it can constantly. It's, it is it is a cleaning mechanism. It is like its stomach. Uh, space has stomachs, and those are the black holes, and it has to digest. It has to digest matter. It is its food. And then and that's good because the universe would get junked up with crap. Imagine all the space the aliens that have accidents and die in space just floating around out there forever. They need to go into a sun or a black hole or some it and it that's just it. I don't know I'm not even convinced that suns are exactly what we perceive them to be. But I, I, I don't want to talk about that yet. I don't I haven't I'm I'm interested in black holes because they also relate to my comprehension of what time is. But when I go into a black hole it is completely dead silent in the most creepy way that you could ever imagine dead silence sounding like. It is creepy, creepy beyond your imagination. And um even when I go there I feel a so nothingness and um, it is sort of like water that goes down your drain, and it even is in a circular, s circular thing. It is a, still a reflection of um, a spirit world circulating into the physical world through this infinite spiral, and that is the reincarnation mechanism. And you are always in a state of constant reawareness and reawareness and reawareness, and, and that is you can't travel through time. If you want to talk about going. Using a black hole to go back in time, that is stupid. I'm just going to say that that is a stupid idea because it isn't, um, it isn't realistic because time, so you have to get away from the reality that time exists or doesn't exist. It, it is an infinite universe. 
And um, that is not the purpose of black holes. The purpose of black holes is not to be a slingshot into a previous moment um, in, in time, because time doesn't exist. I talked about this in, a, in another video about how, how um, I was an alien. It was called Alien Past Lives, uh, Alien Past Life and the Illusion of Time. And I talk about how um, I was a profound alien being, and that um, human beings had gone back in time to find me. And um, the reason they found me is because me right now is talking about all of this stuff. That is why I created a video and I couldn't share it, because I didn't know how to share that. I want that to be the only the, the tiniest part of this video. I'm done thinking about that. Done with that. I'm talking about time because I want to expand the awareness of all human beings on this earth. Not just some human beings, but all human beings. All human beings who don't, who are looking to have, uh, to expand and have more of awareness of existence. Not um, human beings who are trying to find answers to create technologies. Not just those human beings, all human beings. Each one of us is the mirror, you see. And it, we have to ask ourselves, who is it that we choose to be in this lifetime? Do we choose to harm others? Or do we choose to promote love in others? Do we choose to change this world? Or do we choose to leave this world in a chaotic and miserable state of being? So to us who have money and can buy stuff and have nice fancy dinners and can have clothes and don't have to worry about how to survive, it's a lot easier than having to be at the bottom of a totem pole and having to learn how to survive and then it's challenging. And then you, you start to look for answers in every way, shape, and form. That is good. That is good about choosing a lifetime of challenge because it starts, it inspires self-awareness. If you have everything handed to you on a silver platter, you don't have a reason to have self-awareness. We all need to have self-awareness. We all do. And, um, and so I want to talk again about um, the reality that I came to, which was um, I, had an, I, myself, over the last several years, have actually interacted with myself in previous lifetimes. And it didn't dawn on me what that actually meant. It just dawned on me that it was possible that I could do it. That I could actually connect with, you know, if time doesn't exist, then I should be able to talk to any of my previous selves in other lifetimes. And I have done it. I have actually done it. I have a, a previous self that is um, so extraordinary, so loving, so you, I don't, I'm just, I'm not sure if I want to talk about who and what she is, because I've already talked about one past life, and now... Now I have um, concerns about what 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 that is going to mean now. <sighs> Just a minute, I'm asking my eagles in the universe whether or not I should describe this past life or not. They're asking me why why should I why what makes me hold back? Is it fear that I shouldn't share? What there is no no such thing as a reason to be afraid. You are being afraid about um, the mirrors that have a choice to either love or to destroy. And that is their own learning and their own choice of self-awareness. Okay, so um, in this past life, I was a very large, egg-shaped person. Ginor a giant egg-shaped person, like Humpty Dumpty. And I had legs like stubs and arms like stubs. And I had, um, I was female and I had genitalia on my stomach area because of our shapes. We couldn't have genitalia uh, where it should be um, <laughs> because we could only do it standing up, see? <laughs> that's, that's awesome. I love that. Aliens are interesting. They're different. Their forms are, are so such a variety, and that is so good for us. We need to know what exists out there, and it's not just us. And it's not just hot, Palladian beings with perfect freaking bodies. There's freaks out there, too. 
thing is, is this egg, egg self, I love her so much. I call her Mother Egg because she is the ultimate divine feminine expression to me. She is so purely loving, so beautiful in her nature and way of being and so balanced and so aware. And she is so awesome to me. And when I have come into times in my life where I don't know what to do with the feelings before, I would not enter a black hole. I would actually call out to her to help me. And she would. And I actually could feel her energy purifying my body and changing me. And within mere minutes, I would feel healed completely like... Like, wow, I don't, how is it? I'm like laughing right now because I'm not even close to sad at all. The, the, this is the reality that this is real. The, this is true. This interaction is real. It proves itself to me because it changes me. It changes an emotional state that I personally could not alter. And then I connect with um, what is should be um, pretend. And then that pretend actually comes back, alters me in such a way that I feel marvelous and happy like I could go dancing now. Literally within minutes. That's it. And it, and it proves itself. It's reality to me. It proves its reality to me. And, um, and so I was interacting with... Um, I had cho chosen to, to explore time by, by seeing whether or not I could interact with previous selves because if if time doesn't exist then they should always be um, alive in any moment that I choose to interact with them you see what I mean and in um, and so I had an interaction with myself me Abby from this lifetime old Abby I saw my hair was pure white I was aged incredibly aged just like an old person and um, she came to me and talked to me several days ago and I um, I've never talked to my own personal self in the future and my own personal self talked to me right here and we had a humongous energetic exchange of information she she is so how I'm talking to you right now about time that time doesn't exist at all you have the ability to talk to even yourself from from tomorrow and the fact that um, time doesn't exist is that there is an awareness of Abby and an awareness of you and awareness of every single one of us that exists yesterday, that's in, in yesterday right now, that is in um, last week right now, that is actually re-experiencing um, five, you know, five months ago, right now. There, there are infinite awarenesses that are taking place. I am one of the awarenesses right now. That is, I am one. I'm always going to be living in this lifetime over and over and over again. That is how you never leave the infinite spiral. You have no idea how that awareness affected me. There is awareness of Abby that it has endured this entire lifetime that is old. That tells me that I'm going to live to be a very old woman. And um, that awareness of myself came back to find this awareness of me to talk to me for some reason. I, she didn't tell me anything. She just shared energy with me and gave me some images and just giggled at me. <laughs> this is literally what she did. <laughs> and I was like, you're not that smart, old woman. I'm, I'm going to outsmart you. But that is actually a very natural reaction of how I, how I would behave towards my own self behaving towards me and doing tricksy and silly towards me. And me being, being like, you're not going to outsmart me, old woman. You're not smarter than me. But <laughs> you can, I know, I feel like I'm getting into mumbo jumbo because there are so many events that took place this week and I'm really trying hard to not only talk about time for your own needs of, of awareness, to not only talk about your need to be self-aware, aware of who and what you are as a soul, aware of your perfect mirror, in an infinite universe, to ask yourself truly, who and what am I? Who and what am I? To connect with the spirit world, to connect with your own special eagles that can be your eyes for you, to help you understand who and what am I? You can only understand that by choosing to reach your hand out to the sky and saying, I want to know me. I want to know me. I know this world. I know what it is to live here, but I want to know what's inside of this. Inside of this shell is something so wonderful. 
I want to know who that is. I want to understand my relationships. I want to have, I want to do it differently this time. And that was the point too, was that um, in that video, I just made it. It's alien past life and the illusion of time. I had talked about how I'm going to do it better this time. This awareness of me is just one of many, many, many awarenesses of me taking place right now. What, what would be millions of awarenesses of me, and millions of awarenesses of you, and millions of awarenesses of every single one of us that, are ne that never stop taking place at every simultaneous moment. You have no idea what infinite is. You have no idea what uh, no beginning and no end actually means. All, it, all the only way to describe it is that it is a mirror, a mirror with, you know, what would be like a disco ball with all these different reflections on it, all connected with a whole. This is only an awareness. This is not time. This is only an awareness that is talking to you. But there is an awareness of me that is going to be talking to you through videos that I'm going that I haven't even made yet, and I, you know, I'm still in the awareness that was five months ago. I don't even know if this is going to make sense to anybody who watches this. It is, a, it is partially my own therapy to talk about this realization because an awareness of myself chose to connect with awareness of herself that is at this point in our cycle of awareness. <laughs> and there is no time, which means that I will always be reliving, I will always be in a cycle of awareness within this lifetime. There's always going to be an awareness that is here trying to do it differently and I kept saying in that video that I was going to do it better I was going to do it better this time and I came to the realization that I um, I've had moments in my own life where I have laughed at the universe and I was like I'm telling you I swear to God I've already lived this lifetime I swear to God I'm living it again I don't even know why I'm living this lifetime again or why I would even think that I would be living this lifetime again I should only live a lifetime one time and then I die and then I go to the next one, right? I don't actually just keep reliving life, the same lifetime over and over again like Groundhog's Day. And I just let it go. But that is the truth. You do. Whether you realize it or not, you, you are in a Groundhog's Day. And that is that it was the hard part for me because I don't want to relive this lifetime again. <laughs> it hasn't had the happiest memories. But, um, but that is why I am who I am. That is why I choose to have self-awareness because the challenges in life actually make us more profound than when it is just handed to you and then it becomes a simpler, simpler life where you just live it and you don't have a reason to try to comprehend things. That is just a cycle. It's okay. We all, all souls need to have simple lives. Every one of us needs to have simple lives. And every one of us needs to have hard lifetimes so that we can choose to comprehend um, who and what we are. We need to have these very varying lifetimes. Some of them are going to be joyful and simple and they don't need, they don't need to explore the depths. And some of them are going to be so challenging. And, and the only way to get through it is to constantly choo choose to explore the depths and choose to find alternate ways to get through the lifetime itself. And it's a struggle. Well, um, I don't know. I've been talking a lot about time and I don't even know if it's going to piece together right. And it's important to me. It's important to me to talk about time. And, um... And to, to inspire self-awareness in others. That is how you change the planet. That is how you make a planet. You, you alter the frequency waves here. You don't see frequency waves. You sense them. You sense when something isn't right. That is you sensing the frequency wave. If we only experienced love here, we wouldn't have a reason to sense. We wouldn't have a reason to feel like something didn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right on this planet with the way we choose to interact with each other as a whole. Not just individuals living our daily lives, but as a whole. A whole planet of people and how we interact with each other as a whole. And it, isn't, it doesn't feel like love to me. And that, and that is where we need change. We need change through a choice to be self-aware and then to make different choices so that we can share love. We have to share love here. You have to choose. Do you want to be love 
and, and hold your hand out to help another? Or uh, because if you, if you were struggling, wouldn't you want somebody to hold their hand out to help you? You see, we have to choose to be loved for each other. We have to choose to be loved. That is, that is what this comes down to every single time with me. So, um, so anyway, uh, I'm choosing to, to be and remain a voice for the highest um, frequency of wisdom. And that is what I will continue to do, is continue to share wisdom that is at the highest frequency in order to help others who want to have self-awareness to have that from the highest frequency that I can attain and as myself, as the vibration that I am as a soul, an ancient soul. It's much easier for an ancient soul to connect with very high frequency wisdom. If you're a young soul, you don't have the experiences. That is okay, we need all of us. We need the young souls too. The young souls ch challenge the old souls. The old souls are the, are the compartments of um, infinite awareness, infinite um, you know, you have, I don't know when to stop. I guess I just need to stop talking. I made a video and I needed to today. I needed, I've needed to. It's been very hard for me to tolerate the realization that I, that, um, when you have a deja vu moment, that I used to say, I'm in the right place at the right time. I had a deja vu moment. I love that. And now when I have a deja vu moment, I, I translate that now as I am doing it exactly the same way at exactly the same time as I had done it in my previous self-awareness. I am continuing to do it exactly the same. This time I want to change. If I change, if I can change my the spectrum of awareness, I can change it for all of the reflections. I can change it for all of us. So that way our awareness, when it re-explores the life, it can do it differently next time. I can help do it differently next time. For me and for anybody who, who wants to experience it differently next time. This is just one side of a mirror. This earth and what we are enduring today is just one side of a mirror. It is isn't even come close to an infinite universe, just one reflection. There is no time, there are only reflections and awareness, that is it. And it is always in ever existence. It will always be Mother Egg. I will always be old Abby. I will always be this Abby that is speaking to you right now. I will always be in these moments at all, all, all the time. Because I will always be in that infinite spiral. This isn't bad. This isn't terrible. It is just a human mind trying to comprehend its existence and it's hard. Because one lifetime can be enough, you know? It is a good thing. It is good to have wisdom and awareness. That is all I have to say about that. So anyway, this is my video for today, for this moment. And I hope you, um, I hope it inspires you to think more about who and what you are. When you do that, you can become better. You can become more than you were. When you get to be an old person and you're at the end of your rope and you're looking back at how you lived your life, if you if you just lived it like you know you follow along with the with you know the roadblocks and the and the good things and the bad things and you just live a life and you look back and you say you know I I lived my life or you can or you and that's good that is good too or you could say you know what there was that point in time where i i was inspired to really see why i was making the decisions i was making you know really see why i was interacting with certain people and i made i decided to make some changes and because i made those changes this happened then happened that never would have happened if i wouldn't have decided to do it differently and I'm so glad I decided to do it differently. And I'm so glad because now that I'm at the end, I can look back and acknowledge that that I did a good thing. And, and I'm so glad and proud of myself for having done that because I have all these beautiful memories now that um, came about because of those choices to be more self-aware. So. That is all I have to say, and uh, thank you for watching my video.
more videos to come.